Hello everybody and welcome to another killifish video. A couple of videos ago, I showed you guys how to breed annual killifish. Today, I'm going to show you how to breed non-annual killifish. Non-annual basically means that their lifespan is longer than one year. As usual, I'll put my water parameters on the screen and in the description. For this video, I'm going to be using Afio simian australe, the chocolate variety, but this method will work for most non-annual species. I'm using bare bottom tanks with spawning mops and very little plants in them. This is to increase the likelihood that they spawn on the spawning mops rather than in the plants or the substrate. Now we wait. The male killie will then lead the female to the mops and the spawning will begin, as you can see in this clip. And this is why I use bare bottom tanks. Not all the eggs will stick to the mops and if the eggs fall into the gravel, you will likely never find them. This way, I can suction the bottom of the aquarium after I pull the mops to collect whatever is left over, as you'll see in a minute. I usually leave the pairs together for about 48 hours and then separate them. This is because the males will consistently try to spawn and stress the females out. Here you can see a female after being with a male for around 48 hours. And here you see the female about 5 minutes after the male was taken out of the tank, much less stressed already. After 48 hours I pull the mops and look for eggs. But first I put some aquarium water in a cup with a couple of drops of methylene blue. I use the ratio of 1 teaspoon of methylene blue for every 10 gallons and then pull out as much as I need. This is the water I incubate the eggs in and the methylene blue helps prevent the spread of fungus between the eggs. After I pull the eggs off the mops, I put them into this methylene blue and aquarium water solution. I then go back and vacuum the bottom of the aquarium, as mentioned earlier, but into a different container. This is because I don't want the mum and the fish poop to affect the eggs that were pulled off the mops. This may not be the case, but I figure better safe than sorry. I then mark the containers with the species abbreviation and date and leave them somewhere dark till they hatch. This usually takes about two weeks. I then separate the pair until they are ready to be bred again. I also remove the spawning mops and return the java moss I took out earlier. After the eggs hatch, the fry are raised like any other killifish fry. To learn how to do this, you can check out my video on hatching and raising killifish fry. I'll have the video in the end screen and the link in the description. Okay, that's it for this video guys. Good luck breeding your killies and as always, if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. I will get back to you. If you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more fish breeding videos, hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one.